My name is Bishop Kenya Michael Doltome, United States of Kenya Republic Presidential Aspirant, come 2022, God willing, Allah, or Yahweh, actually in Hebrew language and in the Bible as well. I'm also a lecturer clergy and uh, I am actual expert on both books actually. That is actually the Holy Bible and uh, the Holy Quran. These are the books. I'm normally teaching colleges and also, you know, uh, actually online uh, like now I'm doing here under the umbrella of interdenominational uh, church international online which uh, I'm the founder in uh, 2016 up to now and still going on. So if you have any question pertaining these two books, which are godly books and all the prophets found in these books are actually God prophets, including Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, among other prophets like Isaiah and so many others in the Bible. So that is me, and uh, actually I'm here in Nairobi, National Government of Kenya Republic, National Government, and Pakasi Village Location, but we call it World in 2010 Constitution. So today, uh, I would like us to see the Word of God in relation to the Word of God. Uh, I want to see, actually, the Word of God in relation to the current world, uh, how this world looks like, Kenya and beyond. And our topic today is about the characteristics of a peaceful nation on earth. We all long for peace. You know, peace is actually, in, in, in brief, is something to do with good nations, of freedom of war, and freedom of, you know, disturbance. That's what we war actually peace mean, in, in short. It's a connection or connection, connotations, uh, you know, between actually, whereby we say there is no war, freedom of war and disturbance. That is the connotations of a simple term of the word peace. And so, a peaceful characteristic of a peaceful nation is what actually uh, we want to learn today in relation to the Word of God. I said yesterday, both of these books, we have one God. Actually, if you read Quran, chapter 120, uh, 12, 112, verse 1 to 4, and the Bible, again, actually, we have read actually Exodus 20, verse, 4, verse 1 to 4, chapter 1, verse 1 to 4 as well, we have only one God. Allah and Yahweh, or the God who told actually Moses, I am who I am, and I will be what I will be. That means there's no other God. You cannot look God from anywhere. So, a characteristic of a peaceful nation, like uh, you know, any other on the world, because we have few of them uh, nowadays, but most countries are undergoing a turmoil in their political you know, systems, like Kenya today whereby we are now expecting to have election either 2022 or even a bit earlier or uh, later on because of the nature of the country and also the United Nations and also African Union and also East Africa have told Kenya to postpone elections which have got nobody as objected including the head of states who is novice illegally uh, who is excellent in group again Kenya that since he has resigned 2014 on October 6th uh, 2014 uh, uh, on October 6 to this day, uh, October uh, actually uh, 2020, 2021, and uh, the person who has left office, uh, uh, the deputy president by then on October 6, uh, 2014, up to now, is not in office either. He went actually to join another, you know, infamous party called United Alliance Party, Democratic Alliance Party. So uh, as I speak now, we don't have actually a clear president of Kenya Republic as far as 2010 constitution is concerned. We are what we, under what we call theocratic rule, God rule. And uh, many people are doing nowadays what uh, they want just to do in their own eyes, what they saw fit in Genesis, in Judges 21, 25. Judges 21, 25. Uh, there was also a time whereby Israel had been under God rule, whereby we are not sure who is the president. Likewise, Kenya today, because our president has resigned on October 6, 2014. 
And there's no way you can resign and come back to office again if the world, according to the world, you know, resignation letters, as uh, we know. Worldwide, except the Urumbekai Kenyatta, Kenyan's president, who is now in United Kingdom. So, uh, and he, he has no, we are not, we don't know now who is uh, he has left over uh, the office with the, to run the country because he is not in town with his. Uh, President again, because now deputy president is no longer deputy president. He's actually the president. Uh, he was he has an under, give him office on October 6, 2014, when he went to Hague to answer cases of 2007 for selection violence. And he hasn't, Ruto has never resigned. So we are under theocratic rule in the Kenya Republic, uh, whereby it's only God who is ruling us clear. So, characterize our peaceful nation, because God is providing us peaceful peace. Because Kenya are very wise, you know, all this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, a peaceful country is one whereby, uh, whereby we say all human beings are treated equally in job opportunities. And also uh, the country which respects God, the country which respects also the law of, God, uh, of, of the nation, like now Kenya 2010 constitution, is not followed at all. That's why now we don't have a clear president. Who is the president? Because Uru Kenyatta is saying he's the president of the Central Republic of Kenya, Kikuyu only. And the chief opposition leader, uh, uh, Molo Odinga, Raila Molo Odinga, is saying he's the People's Republic of Kenya, Luo only. That's why I want to unite this country. I, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, to have the United States of Kenya Republic come 22 elections or a bit later because we don't have to go against actually United Nations, uh, you know, for adversary committee uh, to say. Postpone your election, Kenyans, so that you will not again plug the country into post election violence of 2007 and 2008 and 2017. Because we have lost so many people, so many people fled to other countries. So we want actually, and also our African Union have actually echoed the same, and East Africa echoed the same. So, Anur Kenyatta and any other person now uh, within uh, the system, uh, nobody has objected, including we citizens. We don't want actually. To have election whereby only two some few communities like Kikuyu, Embu, Meru, and Luo are going to vote uh, because they have all the necessary documents, like you know voting cards and uh, all you know nat uh, national identity cards, Uduma numbers, and also passports. There are only ones for uh, for tribes among 50, about 50 tribes almost, 43, 46 there, including those who are not coded. So. It is very advisable if the country can push on election for some few, maybe a year or so, again two or three, okay, 2023, okay, we can honor what actually the other nations are saying. But we don't also a country to run, to be run actually by the same people to continue leading us, which we don't know who is the person as I speak now. So. Characteristic of a peaceful nation which is free from, you know, war and disturbance is the one which by, whereby human beings are treated equally. All people live in peace and unity of purpose. All human beings are also given job opportunities. And, you know, all can, and all people live together in, you know, harmony or amicably without any disturbance. As I speak now, I am a Samburu Maasai tribe. We don't have Samburu Maasai tribe. In almost 11 Kikuyu country, you know, federal state county governments like Kiambu, you will not see us having shops there. You will not see us having in Burana. You will not, I'm just giving an example. I am a Samburu Maasai. You will not see us in Nyeri. You will not see us doing all this business. We don't own anything. But these people call Kikuyus, Embu, Meru, they are even where my neighbor is also a Meru person in Marsabit County. Some kind of question. Why are they not allowing other people to live with them? That's why now they have provoked actually other tribes also like now Mandera County Government, uh, you know, Wajia County Government, Mandera and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Garissa actually to refuse other tribes to live in that part of the country, which is now almost a part of Somalia, South, South Somalia, which is controlled by Al-Shabaab. Okay? That is why also Al Shabaab has cleared 148 2015 Bantu students of Garissa University. Because the, actually the, 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 the university is within the land of Somalis, actually, Garissa. 
and their, their children are not, their, their, they don't have students there. Why is this family, uh, these people called Central Republic of Kenya and also People's Republic of Kenya are actually dividing the country? Okay? If the war comes, I don't know what will happen because now every uh, for, uh, for seven federal states county governments, people can say that we, are, we will have for seven federal state county government presidents. So that's why I want to unite this country because we don't want such kind of massacres. Whereby, where I am not accessible to go to, to, to have a, a land there in Nyeri or Kiambu or uh, Nyeri or Moranga, I being a Samburu Masai, and he has assigned these people have access to go up to Samburu County government or to where other Samburus are. Why? Okay? That is actually, people must know this. I must be a free person to own a land in Nyeri. I must be a free person to own a land in Kiambu. And I, I will not be restricted, actually. As I speak now, I'm in Nairobi County government. We don't have Samburus here owning a land. I am even myself a refugee here, living in actually British houses built in 1956 by Queen Elizabeth II. That's why now the president, Uru Megai Kenyatta, who has resigned 2014 on October 6, okay, he is in, actually was recalled to go to, you know, to Britain. He's in Britain now, you, United Kingdom. And I think actually United Kingdom, huh? Prime Minister Boris Johnson, which I have prayed even for him when he actually contracted the COVID-19 and now as well, okay, to have even given him money for, for affordable, Housing, so that people who have been, you know, displaced two or seven, two or eight, twice in 2017 to be provided housing, free housing. We don't want to Uruge Nyata to come with those money and then come and mess with the money to give again Kikus to go and misuse money. We want them to, to come and build houses and we want them to leave us here living in this, you know, uh, uh, Nairobi city council houses which are built by British government. Okay, actually, to be. Free. We are living freely now. We are saying we are not paying any tax. That house has been built by British government and they want again, you know, they want to come and destroy those houses. We have renovated them more with more than one million shillings. And we found them very okay with tiles, with also, but we renovated them because of some few other things. Okay? And recently they wanted to, re to remove us this July, but we refused and we will keep on refusing. This is not a government house of Kenya Republic. It's not built by Kenya. So let the Kenya build houses for people who are poor. Street families here in, uh, in Bakasi, so many of them. Rather than actually Uri Kenyatta going and get money from Britain, okay, affordable housing, and come and again use them, and give Kikuyus only, and other tribes, no. No, we don't want such kind of a thing. So Boris Johnson, Prime Minister, we thank him for actually, uh, because he's actually in the nation today, that those money are going to be given out to Kenya and let them follow their money to see that they are given to the poor people, not to the rich. Okay? So we want a country whereby all people are treated equally in job opportunities because now we don't have some more size in Kenya Armed Forces, in police security forces, all the security sectors, in the other organizations, among other tribes. Not only that, it's only Kikuyu. Empo, Meru, and Luo, who are majority in these job opportunities. And there are about 15, we are told, 18 million workforce in Kenya. And we are 50 million people. Where are the rest of other human beings going to be? Huh? If only 18 are in the workforce of European you know, status and the government, and there are these four tribes. What about the rest of us? I said it separately. Even I have a, a microbiology doctor, a graduate of 2015. From the Colony Campus, yeah? Government University of Kenya Republic, Dr. Eli, my old topic, my son, my elder son, not employed 2015 up to now. Where are we going to take these human beings? What am I going to harvest there as now a parent or that man? Because he's not employed and he's a graduate of the university. And many other students also left outside. And they normally even clear them, they kill them even. In fact, when they Recently at home, they have cleared so many, four of them, students who are, you know, seeking for help loan in Marsabit County government, some allocation. Okay? I mentioned separately, Jessica and Ado, you know? Okay? In Jushu, eh, Ramazan, Adan, eh, uh, Dan, Lantare, and also eh, Obele. These are university students. Eh? 
They are clearing people. Sampurus. Okay? And among other, other people, when they, they demand their rights. So, actually, we want that with a government whereby we are all equally treated and also given job opportunities. And also, we also are we allowed to work anywhere in Kenya. Huh? I want to be to given land in Kiambu where Uru Kemwege can get the homies next to him. But I'm not sensible. Huh? But we have so many Kikuyus in Marsabin, where I come from. You have so many Kikuyus in uh, you know other counties, government, for seven of them. Why are they not allowing people to be in their own? Why are we not allowed to be given to given land to Kisumu, Bondo, where uh, Raila Mola Odinga come from? Where am I not given a land in you know, Baribo, where Gideon Moy is coming from? Where am I not given Viga, where Vice President now, uh, whatever they come from? Where am I not given land, where actually uh, Vice President uh, can also Mzioka come from, Mwingi? Where am I not given land in where, you know, Kagamega, you know, uh, Bungoma Governor, Senator come from, where Tumbula? There's people who are seeking presidency. Their fathers have been president. Some of them, their fathers have been also prime ministers. And they themselves have been leaders of that capacity also, most of them. And they want them to rule us. And they don't share the tribes in their own homeland. But we allow them. Are we mad? They are the only one who are wise. We are also wise now this time. We want actually these elections as the United Nations have said that uh, and also the African Union and East Africa uh, community that this election need to be postponed from 2022 to 2023. Earlier, 20, early 2023. Okay, they are about these people. Normally, even they they make an election to be aware when there is a lot of rain, like October, like you know something of that nature, like now August. There is no accessible roads in my country where I come from, Marsabi, and there is a rainy rainy season. These people are strategizing how to to, to to continue leading this country using any method, even natural uh, of such nature, you know, environment. Whenever there is rains. The long rains, short rains, they normally bless the nets. So that no accessible roads eh, to go to for this, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, polling sessions. They are also doing that. You know, they are saying now uh, we want the election to be on nine, uh, you know, hours. Very few months to come. And they don't have only having only identity card for voting, voting card for voting, Uduma numbers, passports for voting. Eh? Okay? They want to continue leading us. We don't want such a kind of a mess. And uh, if they want everybody to be a president with whatever he is, it is very possible. Very possible. We have 50 tribes of Kenya Republic, and they have sons and daughters. We can have 50 presidents. If this people are messing up. Okay? 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 That's what will happen, obviously. And so there will be no Kenya in the map of the world, globally. In that case, because the very person now will be a president. So actually, a peaceful, uh, coexistent, uh, you know, nation is the one by I stated. What is the cause of this problem of, you know, people becoming, uh, you know, stubborn and refusing to listen to the right way of life? It is because of Satan. These are the followers of Satan. And we, Satan, we are told Satan is actually, was, a, was created before human beings or other, uh, all other create, created beings. And actually he was the chief angel, uh, but he became rebellious to God and he was thrown. If you read Job 1, 7 and uh, Matthew 4, 3, you will get that information. So these are the followers of devil. We call it in, you know, in the Quran. Huh? Okay. Jinns in the Quran also. Satan. Okay, in the same books, you know, if you read both books, okay, both of these books, that's what the Bible says, okay, the Quran and also the Bible, okay, both of these books are stating clearly that, okay, Satan is the one which these people have allowed themselves to be, you know, to be, you know, to be used by the devil, genes, okay, and uh, actually it is controlling actually the air and the earth. As we speak now, with many other followers, God rebellious angels. If you read actually Ephesians 2 2, and also, uh, you know, uh, Isaiah 14 12, and Ezekiel 28 14, and also you read actually Ephesians 2 2, and Matthew 8 29, you will see these are real, actually, evil spirits, which actually have manifested, manifested themselves. 
in these human beings which are creating problem who are power hungry okay they are, they don't mind you know uh, sacrificing even their own human beings even their own families for the sake of getting just you know a mileage in politics to lead other people they don't care okay whoever dies although their sons and their families are normally protected highly protected by the securities when the reservoir even use are like their animals okay so sin began also with this de called devil if you read first john 3 8 so these are human beings actually who are controlled and they are dwelling together with this, these evil spirits in version 6 12 okay so satan and is also the lack of fire eventually together with all these people are creating problem to us if you read revelation 20 10 our revelation uh, uh, you know revelation actually if you read the book of revelation 2010, you will see this is very clear. 12, 7, you will see. You know, he was thrown from heaven to earth to come and actually rule this country called earth. All well, this nation entirely called planet earth. So, the next government I said actually, if I will be elected to be the fifth, uh, the sixth president, because uh, uh, Dr. Ruto is the fifth one. I will speed up the construction of this, this country to be a better nation for humanity habitation. I, Bishop Kenya Michael Tome, I will actually make, I raise the standard of Kenyans and all human beings living in Kenya, be you an expatriate from other nations or Kenyan citizens, to live in a better life. Okay? We will raise your standard to actually, to meet the level of developed countries. And in that case, and also all expatriates, those people who are living in Kenya, because we have so many of them, whites, particularly nowadays, there are so many in Kenya, and uh, other nations, also blacks, okay? If they want to, to be Kenyan citizens, we will allow them. We don't mind, okay? We will give them, actually, uh, you know, uh, 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 actually citizenship, if they wish. And we will give them land to stay in Kenya, because we have surplus, you know, land without human beings, actually. And so I thank also United Nations and the uh, African Union and East Africa community organizations to be actually concerned with us Kenyans by giving us the right directions on how we are going to fight and also by telling us uh, this election to be postponed to probably 2022-23 so that to allow enough time because time can heal and time can solve problems uh, if this government will not be stable like a, you know, federal government of, you know, uh, founded in Exodus 2011-5, okay, to keep on, you know, forcing us to rule us, totalitarian rule, or whoever he wanted to rule us, like, uh, you know, if it is Raila or Mudafadi again, vice president or vice president again, you know, Kaloso Bishoka or, you know, Mudafadi or the son of Moi and his father was a president, or... Oh, and among others of his own choice of Uru Mege Kenyatta, possibly to create more problem for people to fight again, for him to continue being in office illegally as he is now, you know, because he, he has left the office on October 6, 2014 and is still the president because he's is from royal family. They are uh, claiming that they have chased British because they are so brave Kikuyus, which of course is nothing, actually. They have not chased uh, British government. Uh, so yes, they have been. This we got actually uh, independent, amicably. Two people only are lost, on uh, uh, lost their lives uh, when the uh, British left actually this country on October 12, 12 uh, 1963. One died in uh, you know Isiolo and one in uh, you know Meru. That's the actual according to the uh, record from Akech. There was no bloodshed, and we don't know why these Kikuyus are bragging themselves, saying that we are. Just British white people. How? Huh? These are very coward. They can't do that. People are, they can't, we can even bring animals here to Kiambu and see whether these people can survive and fight ele elephants and or lions. They can't. Like the way Samburu Masai are doing and Pokot and other and Somalis. No. So how can they actually change the British government? They have defeated them. They can't. They defeat soldiers, militaries. Even my paternal uncle was in military. Actually, third Kenya rebels. Uh, based in, uh, you know, uh, Nayuki, now Kenya. He, they said that we have not actually, he was actually one of the soldiers, black, black Africans. He said we have not, there's not uh, nobody has just British from this uh, uh, country. They have just left. The country has been destroyed by the blacks up to now, uh, 1963. So what do I want to say? 
We will have a better country if I will be uh, elected to be the sixth president of Kenyan public. I, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome. I will focus. I have a say. The word of God will be the first. Okay, God first in Matthew 6 and 3, followed by human beings, and also living other things, and also environments, and non living things also, environment, and other things like minerals, animals, and water, catchment areas, and lands. We will protect sexually highly, although we have to reduce animals very minimal and confine them in, you know, in, in, in particular zones. So we will have more people living in, we will not, we will not allow animals to groom all over, and then conservatives, we will not have conservatives at all in Kenya, if I will be the fifth, the sixth president. Because these animals are actually, uh, these kikus, which are ruling us, eh, are actually even minding animals, and they refusing our pastoralist animals, like uh, now Nanyuki, like Kipia. And Marsame and Pokot, and you know, where this uh, person is at. Animals are, you know, uh, they are actually keeping more, they want animals, uh, wild animals, to take over the land for where human beings are supposed to, to live together with the animals, like, you know, domestic animals. Huh? That's why I'm saying he's supposed to bring these animals from North Sabur land, Maasai land, you know, Maasai Mara, to Kiambu. How will this people survive? And we are, people, animals are allowed to move a lion, you know, this fight, big fight, they are saying. They are put even in money. Uh, lions, uh, rhinos, you know, uh, leopards. How can they survive? Actually, with these animals we bring and dump them there in the Kiambu. Or, you know, this Kiku Central Republic. Or where these people, People's Republic of uh, Kenya, Luo are. Eh? Will they survive? That is actually, we want to rectify this mess. We don't this kind of continu continuity, kind of mis misbehaviors of leadership. We want actually people to be treated equally and also people to live amicably uh, together, okay? And also given op opportunities, you know, in job creations, okay? And I want also these leaders from NASA, that they call NASA, uh, uh, cash, cashing what? Cashing devil, people. Huh? Let them go and catch devil, not, not us Kenyans, by trapping us in their own way. You know, say NASA is you know, trap somebody. And they are trapping Kenyans for long, but now they won't trap us again. So NASA are Kenya political leaders, okay, like Madawa did, you know, Watangula, you know, uh, Gideon Moy, Watang and, you know, such kind of people, and, uh, you know, Raila Molo Dinga, sometimes they call themselves NASA, uh, they want to, you know, to trap the Kenyans, and uh, sometimes they call them Hoka, to you and Oge and Nini, one, uh, one, uh, party one, one Kenya alliance, these people, they need to go home, actually, if they want peace, Kenya to prevail peace, to go peace to, 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 to live, uh, for us to live in Kenya. These leaders, Raila Molo Dinga, Mudaba De, Kaloso Misioka, Watangula, Gideon Moy, let these people, and also, uh, you know, Vice President now, you know, uh, William Ruto, these six people, they need to go home, honestly. If they, if, if they, if they can hear me today. 26, eh? if they can hear me today, they better go home and leave politics. Otherwise, they will create a problem to Kenya and they will not survive out of it. I assure the whole world, United Nations and anybody, they will not survive this time. They will not keep on pouring our blood and they continue living themselves. In actually Genesis 9 6, these people, six of them, they better leave politics. They will not keep on pouring of blood since 2007, 2008, to twice, 2017, and they are saved with their families, and they will keep on killing us. No! This time, maybe it will be their time. Remember me, 2022 or earlier, 2023, if it will be postponed, election of Kenya Republic, to be your sixth president, because I will rule you, by God's grace, in a godly way. Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, Professor, Lecturer Clagy of both theology, systematic Christianity and Islamic studies. May God bless you, human beings in Kenya and beyond all over the world. Amen.